Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to use strings. I know there's a couple ways you can use these things. There's probably more than that, but <clears throat> I'll show you some basic stuff you can do with them. Alright. First thing you use them for is to create certain messages. So let's go to string. New one. And another new one. Then we're going to use an integer. And just to give you an example, we're going to make this say. Take our integer. Make it 500. And we're going to name this. There we go. Okay. All we need to do is we've got to build another one. one. So you go to the build tile, go here, add, string zero, integer, string one. What we can do, that next when we spawn in, we're going to use string 2, which is this one. And when we spawn in, it'll show our message. There you go. And that's one way to use it. You can also use it to build certain lines of code uh, to make certain events happen. Uh, <coughs> so if you want like a specific thing to happen at a certain time, you can use that to build that. Okay, so that's one way to do that. So get rid of this. Now we're going to use these for a different use. We're going to use these two for something different. We're going to use this to make a combination. And we're going to use that combination to unlock this door. Okay? First things first, we need. Couple of switches here. So we'll do one for the door. And two more for the passcode. Allow reuse. Allow reuse. Allow reuse. Okay. Now when this gets used, we're going to build this one. Here we're going to make a second integer. And we're also going to use string compare. Now here's how this is going to work. This is going to be our password. This is going to be our entry. So when we do this, we put the password first. String zero. And then this, we're going to make our entry. String zero, string one. Okay, now when these two match, this will open. When they don't match, it won't it won't open at all. Oops, no, I don't want to lock, it won't open. There we go. <laughs> Just to show you that it works. this doesn't open. So that's how you know it does it 
it works. That's how you know that the passwords don't add up. So, let's go and build our combination. Let's go to second integer. Nope. So, integer zero, integer one. Now, if we're going to do. Increase. Get this stuff out of the way. Put each of these. And that one. One. And four. One. One. And four. Not that. We're going to go here. We're going to make this both of our integers. Go here, get rid of that space. What I'm going to do is just to show it on the screen when we're in there, so we get the right code. for the other two codes so that they match up. Let's make those just as big so that way we got a steady code here. Okay. So now what will happen is that we won't have access until we match this code here, which is 44. So these got to be, be 4 in order for it to work. Once that adds up to this, that door will open. And that should work. Again, we try the door. Doesn't work. So let's go ahead and put our code in. Two. Three. Four. And the other one. So that's basically how you can use strings for two different things right in the game. And like I said, you can also build codes out of them, so if you want, you can do more stuff with them. Uh, practice with them. Experiment. Try different things out with them, because developers use these things all the time. And with that being said, hope you found this useful, and you all take care.